get some of that loot out from this. You see Killer Boss also finding some eliminations in the chat. Just to find some of these spots, we'll swip, switch our way over here to Za, Pip, and Rocks, who seem to be always in a fight, and they'll take out No Noah. Look at their inventory already. Two mythics on Za. He dropped one for a gold weapon instead. And this team is just dominant. Five eliminations for them already in this match, and they're looking to continue to do some more. Team obviously very strong in these matches. Looking around. Not much else to be found at this point, though. Try and look back around the map here. Some of these other teams. As best as we can. And Loose Poots, Ducky, and Wizard. They're going to be farming up some mats here. Near this lavish layer location. Just farming up what little metal they can find. That's what we talk about. Metal being such an important resource to have. Once you get to endgame, there's very little locations that actually have decent metal for you to farm up. So if you're landing edge of the map, if you're landing some location that isn't full of this metal-like material, it seems like it's so hard to find it, to find little scraps of it around. Much different from brick and wood that spawn in those natural resources, those rocks and those trees. So teams have to... Oh, 
I'm hitting that balloon straight away, and it looks like to be Shogun, Triangle, a gate, a Slime Eagle, or Slim Eagle. We'll see what this team has in store for us this week. They had a huge game in our previous week, a gate coming up clutch for his squad. So we'll see if that can that kind of gameplay can be repeated this week. You see them start to unlock some of these, I guess, barriers here to get these weapons. Maybe some other fights going up on towards our northern portion of the map here. We have Bearded Dragons, Minty, Zero, XBL, and Vibes. XBL taking aim down scope here with that 30-30 repeater. Such a pivotal weapon in these fights to find that early amount of damage. You see, Minty actually might be going in here, trying to find those fights. Breaking through some of those barriers placed. And you can see that shot's coming out. Minty... Almost cracked his shield though, has to be careful. And Mastiff just not doing enough damage there. Really weren't a push in, but it doesn't seem like Zero is phased in any way, shape, or form. Minty though, gonna be taken down here on the low ground. Bearded Dragons now put on the back foot at Zero, trying to clutch up for his teammate here, trying to take some damage. Volt taken out, finds the elimination. Zero brings one back in their favor and gets that. Final Elam as well, and now Troy Evo B. Lovely, and EJ Dead Rider. They're looking to rotate out of this location, no longer wanting that fight. Looking to craft that banner maybe later on. Not looking to recover it at this point. Even though it went in their favor at the start, the tables quickly turned, and both of these teams didn't look favored in this fight. Very low. At the beginning of it, Shield's not that healthy. We'll see EJ and Lovely eventually rotate out of this fight. Taking a look back at our map here, seeing where these teams are lining up. We see on our western portion of the map, there's basically no team but Franklin Phoenix, Yags, and Dario, a duo in this first match. This upgrade should help. Are looking. To make a name for themselves here they've already made a name set for themselves in our previous matches but they want to continue to do so throughout these weeks we haven't seen them make as good of performances as we've seen in the past but maybe this week is where they bring it back and put their team in the spotlight once again going back towards our northern portion of the map mirrored dragons once again taking some fights here zero and minty nearby it looks like Gnome Answer that wants to do it. Storm, Gaka, and Scribbles. They found one elimination on this team, and they don't look like they're aggressing too much for those others at this point. Don't want to chase down these teams and overextend too much into this match. Thanks. But for now, Minty Zero put in a difficult situation as a duo that player disadvantage in these matches makes it so difficult to take these fights you have to find early damage
taking a look back over here at Gnome Darts. Here on the edge of zone, and a player just drops right on the head of Junkers, who's able to find that elimination. Tiger Fox actually cracked his shield now, has to be careful in this position, but still looking to push in. And here is Junker. Junker fights a second. And looking to do more Junker, hopping in the building right on top of these players. And that rampart is dropped. A gate and his squad are brought out of this match. Junker has to be careful though. The zone hitting so much of Junker. A critical mistake there. Zone closing in and Junker brought down as a result. Now, Troy Evo nearby. DJ4 Pro here just camping the edge of the zone. And Big City was brought down. Nomance looking to find the last few eliminations in this match. And it looks like they're going to be an advantage here in Scribbles and Storm. Just looting up what they can here before they push in for this final fight against the Gnome Darts. I think it's just Gnome Darts and Gnome Ants that remain in the match. A 3v2 situation here. Paige, Junkers, and Tiger Fox. They spot out the players. See that Sentinel being scoped down. Trying to find that little bit of damage, that little bit of chip here at the start to give them that opening. And a nice shot there from Tiger Fox. You can see that mark coming through. Tiger Fox still rotating in here. Getting a little bit more loot. An Arc Star, a Thermite maybe, to throw into this fight. And you'll see that damage beginning to come out here. They're not able to get that EMP off. Scramble Storm stuck in a difficult situation here. Zone pulling towards them, but that's the only advantage they have at this point. They're just looking to do a little bit more damage, lay down some smokes, but you see that Bangalore ultimate coming out, and they're forced out of this position. Scribbles rotating to the right side, looking for some damage, looking for these shots, but broken in shield. Now Scribbles forced to take the shield battery. Has to heal up Storm. There to support, though. Trying to get their health back up before they take this fight. And looking around this location, that car... Not the best weapon for the situation, especially with these teams fighting at a mid-range. Mid that shield battery comes out. Scribbles brought low. Storm, the only player left remaining, looking to do this damage, looking to take this fight. And will find a good amount, but Gnome Darts will take match one. And what a match that was for them to come back to show us how dominant they can be in these matches week after week. And once again... Tiger Fox, Junkers, and Paige will be your Apex champions in our first match of week seven of the spring split. We'll take a look at this leaderboard before we switch off to our next match and see exactly how these stats broke down and what these players were able to accomplish in this match. Gnome Darts with 10 eliminations in that first place. Gnome Ants with four eliminations in a second Troy Evo A with three eliminations in a third. Franklin Wales with seven in a fourth. And Bearded Dragons with two in a fifth place. So an exciting first match to start off our day. But we have more to come. One more match of Apex Legends. And we'll be back in a bit.
right, we are back with our second match of our Apex Legends Gold League in our week seven of the spring split. Again, we'll see what these teams have changed in previous weeks to adapt to these matches. We saw the Gnome Darts, a dominant squad that we've seen win many matches in the past, continue that streak of dominance in our previous match and take home that victory so we'll see if a team can dethrone them here and fight against these players but as we drop in the map here we'll see exactly where these teams go and what they've changed up from the previous match we didn't see a lot of teams landing on the western portion of the map and a lot of teams were in that northeastern region so we'll see what teams continue to contest there continue to stay at those locations and what teams have decided that they're better off landing a bit further away from maybe where they drop normally for a little bit of an advantage here. 